Hi everyone, there's a mode in the uh, Airbus and some other aircraft like the 787 and this is mentioned in your learning objectives as well and it's called the flight path angle mode or FPA on the aircraft you can um, select a button, press a button which will change the aircraft from heading and uh, vertical speed modes to track and flight path angle modes so with the flight path angle modes when you press the button the display changes from track or from heading to track and FPA and now if I want to I can control the flight path angle of the aircraft you'll notice on the PFD that there is a flight path angle bar now showing that we're flying straight, straight and level even though our attitude is slightly nose up which we would expect uh, now this video isn't perfect as far as handling is concerned um, the, f the flaps warnings you all hear occasionally okay so I'm adjusting the flight path angle down and because I'm effectively above the glide slope and I'm wanting to um, I'm wanting to do a localizer approach with a manual glide path so I've set my flight path angle down slightly you can see if I wind it down further you can see the flight path angle reduces on the PFD and ignore the flap warning again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive the flight path angle down until I am on the glide slope again so I'm going to manually fly the glide slope using the flight path angle although I am using the autopart to do this so my flight path angle is minus four degrees right? you can see it on the PFD display and as the glide slope comes up to the line I'm going to reduce the FPA down to three degrees again there we go so theoretically and in fact practically what I've done is I've forced the aircraft to fly a three degree glide slope or a three degree flight path at least and you can see we're staying pretty accurately on the glide slope at the moment so this is quite handy if you've picked up the pappies and you can see the two reds, two, two whites and you set your flight path angle with, in the absence of a, a glide slope uh, then you could manually or get the autopilot to fly the aircraft down using flight path angle and the flight path angle will remain constant even if your speed changes and we'll see that in the next part of the video so the aircraft is descending still on a uh, flight path angle which I've reduced slightly 500 400 and you can see that we're maintaining that flight path angle so that's 200. the first part of the video the second part of the video is going to be where we um, 100. see what flight path angle does when we're flying straight and level and we just alter the speed so we'll see if flight path angle will be maintained okay thank you okay so what we're doing now is we're looking at the flight path angle uh, mode in straight and level flight so at the moment um, the speed is set to 251 knots flight path angle is set to zero degrees so I'm not going up or down in terms of attitude or in terms of flight path angle I should say but my attitude is slightly nose up so what I'm doing here is reducing the um, speed of the aircraft and what should happen is the aircraft should start to pitch up so the attitude of the aircraft will change to maintain the correct flight path angle and this is exactly what happens when you're flying at an altitude or you're on the glide slope and you reduce your speed the aircraft attitude changes to keep you on the right path but of course as I'm using flight path angle then the same thing is going to happen and you can see that the green flight path angle indicator is staying smack on the horizon but the aircraft attitude is changing so if I increase the speed back up to 250 knots then you'll notice almost straight away that the nose of the aircraft starts to drop 
to maintain again the zero degrees flight path angle that I've asked for. And you can of course use uh, flight path angle to uh, maintain that angle when you're climbing or descending. So I'm shortly going to select a new altitude, uh, winding it up from 3,000 feet to whatever it is, 15,000 feet, I think, 30,000 feet possibly, there we go, 30,000 30, feet. And with the flight path angle set, nothing happens just yet, but if I wind it up, as you can see, straight away on the PFD, the altitude mode kicks in, and now what's going to happen is the auto throttle will maintain my speed, and the autopilot will try and maintain my attitude uh, that I set. Um, and if I try and increase my angle too much, and as you can see, the speed will start to drop off. It's a little bit like using VS mode, uh, flight path angle mode tends to override the speed capability of the uh, auto throttle.